Hello everyone and welcome to Blackstar Potential. My name is Lee Fuge and I'm here with mgrmusic.com and in this video we're going to take a look at one of the Blackstar patents. We're going to look at the TVP setting which is the true valve power. If you own a Silverline or an ID TVP amp you will have this feature built in. The TVP stands for true valve power. The TVP option is designed to recreate the power, feel and tone of a real cranked valve amplifier combined with the ISF feature and whatever guitars you want to put in and EQ settings you want to use you can really recreate the sound that's in your head. Valve amplifiers create distortion and sag when in use. This gives a real full harmonically rich sound. The TVP feature accurately reproduces this harmonically rich sound by recreating the behavior that different power amp tubes have and how they interact with the output transformer and the speaker. This also drives a higher voltage across the speaker at specific frequencies. What this means is the sound you hear is as loud as valve. On your Silverline or ID TVP amplifier, you will have six different TVP responses to choose from. Each of these is a specific type of power tube, and we're gonna look at how each one of those affects the tone of the guitar. On the top panel of the amplifier where the response knob is, you have six different tube responses to choose from. These are ordered from the most compressed and the spongiest feeling at the bottom, right up to the highest headroom at the top. So the further up you go, the more headroom you get, and the further down you go, the more compression you get. We're gonna start with the EL84. This is a class A style tube, it's got a very full bodied sound with a bell like characteristic and lots of compression so this will feel very spongy. To give you an example of the type of tones you can create with an EL84 response, if we push the ISF all the way to the British side which is all the way to the right and we pair this with the crunch voice we can dial in a very Queen-esque tone similar to a 70s or 80s Brian May style tone. <laughs> Next up, we're gonna take a look at the 6V6 response. This is another class A response, but it's a little bit crisper than the EL84. This has also got very high compression, but a very, very tight and present mid-range. To give you an example of what you can do with this type of tube response, if you push the ISF all the way to the American side, so flip it all the way to the left, and dial in the clean bright channel, but push the gain and the volume all the way, you're gonna get the sound of a very small pushed American style combo. This is great for rock and roll and blues playing. <laughs> Next up, we're gonna look at the EL34 response. This is a class AB style response, which is very much a classic British sort of sound. Think of a full body tone with a very soft clipping. If we pair this with the crunch voice and the ISF all the way to the British side and a guitar with humbuckers like a Les Paul, we can get straight in the ballpark of all those great 60s and 70s Led Zeppelin style riffs and any other classic rock band you can think of. <laughs> Next up we've got the KT66. This is more of a vintage British sound. It's like a class AB that's been slightly over biased. It's very rich and very warm, but quite punchy. If we pair this one with the crunch channel again and keep the ISF over to that British side, we get a very great 1960s British blues revival kind of tone. Think of Eric Clapton and Peter Green and you're in the right kind of ballpark. <laughs> Next up, 
Next up, we're gonna look at the 6L, six response. This is another class A style response. It's very tight and very dynamic, but it's also got a lot of headroom and some extended low and high frequencies. So you can expect some additional warmth in the bottom end and some nice sparkle at the top. If we pair the 6L6 response with the clean warm voice and the ISF all the way to the left side, so all the way over to the American side, we can dial in some great clean American combo sounds. Think of players like John Mayer. great thing with this response is it does respond just like a real American combo would. So if we now keep all those settings the same but we push the gain straight up to maximum on this channel and the volume, keep that up nice and loud too, we're going to get a great American rock and roll sound. Think early Rolling Stones. <laughs> The other really interesting thing we can do with the 6L6 response is we can flip over to the OD1 channel but keep the ISF to the American side. We've got the gain dial back to about halfway here. We're going to get a really cool American scooped metal sound. <laughs> That brings us right up now to our last response type. This is the KT88. This is another class AB style. Think of this as tight, bold, very dynamic, high headroom. This is great for those ACDC style classic rock riffs. So we want to dial in the crunch voice with a gain at about halfway. We don't want to go too far with the gain. Get that ISF all the way over to the British side. <laughs> Finally, one additional thing we can do with the KT-88 is flip to the OD-2 voice. Keep that on the British side of the ISF. This will give us a really great 80s style British metal tone. Think bands like Iron Maiden. <laughs> There you go, there is an overview of the TVP True Valve Power Patent from Blackstar Amplification. Now you guys should be well on your way to dialing in whatever tones you want. By coupling one of those six tube responses with one of the six voices on the amplifier and the ISF feature and whatever guitars you want to throw into the mix, you can really dial in the sound in your head. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please let us know in the comments down below what your favorite setups are. So what responses and voices are you guys using on your Silverline or ID TVP amplifiers? Let us know, we can't wait to hear. Don't forget to go check out Blackstar Potential on YouTube for more free video lessons just like this one. There's plenty more and we're gonna dive even deeper into some of the other patents in the coming weeks. If you're looking for a guitar teacher in your local area, please go check out mgrmusic.com. We've got a network of great teachers all over the country just waiting to help you guys unleash your full potential. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.